Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, commercial truck, if you will, 1931 Model A pickup. Now, this is a closed cab. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, really a cute little 1931 Model A pickup, closed cab pickup. Now, this is in its original uh, rock moss green. Now, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video from start to finish if you have the opportunity, because we're gonna do a walk around, we're gonna do a, a cold startup. So you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this truck, give you all the information as well. Or you can go to our website at www.ellingsunmotorcars.com. But yes, 1931, last year for the Model A after a run of almost 15 million Model A's. I'll tell you, Henry Ford had a grand slam when he had the Model T, sold those right up until 1928, and then he came out with a Model, what, Model A. And I'll tell you what, they were outstanding, simplistic, much easier to drive and deal with than your <clears throat> Model T's with the pedals and all that com confusing stuff. So if you're one of these guys looking for one of your first collector vehicles or whatever, boy, I'll tell you what, a little Model A with the right little four cylinder engine, simplistic, it's got a three speed on the floor, regular clutch pedal, and the whole nine yards, you know, Model A is much more, I guess, uh, user friendly in my opinion than the Model T's of course, and electric starts, of course, another one of those things. But, this is an all steel one. I mean, in 31, you still had the option of the open and enclosed cab pickup. But of course, by this time, everyone was leaning towards a closed cab because number one, a lot better in the winter times in an environment like say here in Minnesota, give or take, uh, would be a lot better than those uh, soft tops as you will. So that uh, they sold way, way more of the uh, uh, closed uh, cab pickups like this one. But yeah, they were kind of utilitarian to a degree. I mean, they did have some, uh, some uh, chrome, of course, the bumpers and stuff, but you know, most of the grills on all the trucks were painted black. So it was one of those things. Uh, this does have a side mount tire, which is really nice to have right here. You can see, look at this, this is brand spanking new, brand new tire. Again, they had the real tall tires and skinny tires back in this era for several reasons. Number one, I think it got a little better mileage because of the bigger tire. Number two, the roadways were so poor back in those days, a higher profile, skinnier tire would go through snow, mud, and those terrible roads a lot easier than something else. So yeah, it is just one of those really neat old trucks restored to as it came from the factory with the uh, factory air conditioning. Uh, I mean, that means the tilt out front windshield that goes out. That's the only way you got some extra air into this uh, neat uh, uh, old cab. Uh, look at the interior. Absolutely the right kind of material, even for the for the uh, interior, the seat and whatnot, original dash, original, you know, three on the floor, as I said, you got the mirror on the side here, a nice option. Uh, take a look at the box. I mean, we've got an all steel box in this deal with the, you know, you could have some wood ones back in the day, but this is an all steel one, really nice tailgate on this vehicle as well. Uh, it looks like it's got, uh, I have to go back here just to double check. She is stock, yes, we've got the one tail light assembly because that, in those days you did not have to have turn signals. You used your arms to let people know what it was. Always good to refresh your memory when you drive something like this to make sure you remember those things. We don't do that very often. But you know, the Model A is much more practical for drivability too. I mean, there go 30, 40 miles an hour, really quite readily. I mean, I don't think I'd take this perhaps out on the freeways at 70 miles an hour, but you know, it's for an old car, classic collectible. It's really, really nice. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. You'll find this vehicle on those sites as well, plus our current inventory. And as an added bonus, a lot of the cars that we've sold in the past can also be found there. And so if you have some time to peruse the internet, take a check on those uh, websites and you'll find lots of neat stuff are those sites. 
Uh, yes, it's one of these old Model A trucks. Model A's being such a great vehicle for the collector because they're simplistic, their parts availability is great, and there's a really nice large network of Model A lovers out there. So you can join the Model A club or whatever. There's always someone there to lend you a hand if you had any questions on it. Uh, you know, it's one of those neat things that you get with the uh, old car world. Now, if you're like me, perhaps you want to come on down and take a look at it in person. I mean, oh, look, it still has the Auga horn. I forgot all about that. You know, one of those, you, all of us have watched Laurel and Hardy, of course, and you, Ooga, you always think that's kind of a, a neat thing when you uh, hear those horns. You know, it's an old, old timer coming. No, if you're like me, perhaps you say, you know, I really like it, I, I, but I'm going to have to come down in person. Hey, you're more than welcome to come on down to Ellingson's. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you want to come on down in person, we'd love to have you come on down. Uh, you can, of course, always visit our website. That's available 24 hours a day, 365, whatever, at uh, www.ellingson.com motorcars.com so we're always readily available for your perusal of this particular vehicle and close to 100 vehicles currently in inventory right now ranging from cars back in the 20s all the way up into the 70s and beyond so wide variety for all of us uh, collector car aficionados out there and whatnot so if you're looking for your first model a and you think a little pickup actually you could actually almost use this thing i mean obviously someone uh, said uh, they were probably using the sides on there you could put some hay bales in there haul some chickens to market whatever uh you know it's it's just one of those things model a is just a fun fun little little vehicle so if you're in the market take a look and we appreciate you watching our videos and uh, checking out our stuff because we are always available 24 hours a day thank you and we'll see you next time